What's going on folks? It's Nick. You're watching The Hungry Handgunner and today is Veterans Day. Now I already know that this particular video is probably going to rub some people the wrong way. Um, let me go ahead and put the disclaimer out there that none of this is uh, being disrespectful to military veterans at all. But one trend that I've been seeing over the last few years is a lot of anti-gun and um, gun control groups and stuff like that have found these veterans that uh, agree with them either wholly or in part and then parade them out and it's like as a veteran I uh, support gun control and as a veteran I know what the M4 is capable of so you don't need an AR-15 or, or what have you. You guys have seen the clips, you've seen the posts, the articles. Um, first of all it's bullshit. Being a vet, being a cop, um, those don't automatically make you weapons experts or uh, even make you super knowledgeable about guns right so got my Beretta M9 out here this is the sidearm that was the official military sidearm when I was in the military so you could logically argue that a veteran um, is probably pretty familiar if they qualified on these and carried these that they're, they're pretty familiar with the operation um, and function of this particular gun uh, that does not translate into being knowledgeable about this gun or another gun they know what they use um, as they should and if I had a question about an M4 or an M16A2 or an M9 I would probably go to uh, a Navy gunner's mate or whatever the Army, Marine, Air Force whatever their weapons guy is and ask about it uh, being taught how to use something effectively and being taught the ins and outs of that item not always the same. So, being a veteran does not automatically mean that uh, you know everything about guns. I'm a vet. I definitely don't know everything about guns. Guns are my hobby. Uh, I learn far more about shooting and weapons knowledge in general outside of the military than I ever did in the four years I was in, and probably more than I would have if I'd have stayed in. So, most veterans, and this is going to be an unpopular statement, are... Um, incidentally exposed to weapons they have to qualify on them maybe once or twice a year uh, and that's gonna be that's gonna be really the extent of it for 99.9% .9 of them uh, that may not be a real statistic but the overwhelming majority so yeah being a vet is not an automatic as a veteran I, I carried an M4 so uh, you don't need semi-autos no, they're not the same at all and uh, if you say a statement like that you're an idiot, even if you are a veteran, and I'm sorry, but be careful who you go to for advice. I'm not saying that you should come to me for advice. I tell you what I think. Uh, sometimes I tell you what I know, and a lot of times I tell you what I think I know and then find out I'm wrong. Uh, just because somebody has a law enforcement background or a veteran background does not mean that they are super knowledgeable about guns, even that they're super knowledgeable about tactics. Um, what you run into in the military and in a law enforcement setting is really fucking different than a concealed carry mindset. So I kind of laugh at these guys that uh, rest on their military laurels or their law enforcement laurels as a automatic qualifier for uh, the self-defense world for civilians because they are two totally, three totally different worlds. Um, different threats, different occupational responsibilities, different environments that you're in different code of ethics, it, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, so I would caution folks, and I'm going to do a longer presentation on selecting a, a reputable firearms instructor and reputable firearms training program uh, at a later date, but you know me, I like to stir the pot and today's Veterans Day, and I just saw a post on Facebook where this, uh, I think, retired colonel was like, yeah, I carried an M4 and an M16, and uh, nobody needs an AR-15. And it's like, okay, well, you carried an M4 or an M16, possibly. Um, a lot of other shit this guy said that just didn't add up. And that's one thing. But to sit here and say that nobody needs one, when I literally just saw news stories about people using them to defend their homes against multiple armed invaders, you're full of shit. And you should be ashamed of yourself for taking your oath of enlistment and then using that to trample the fucking rights that you swore an oath to protect. 
So, uh, veteran to veteran, if you do that bullshit, fuck you. So anyways, to all the other veterans that actually honor their oath to the Constitution and uh, dedicate themselves to preserving American liberties and rights, thank you, and thank you for your service. Thank you for watching the Millennial Mag Dump. This is Nick. You're watching The Hungry Handgunner. Stay safe. Keep shooting. I'll see you next time.